Hi and welcome to the RGL Forza Motorsport Championships and we have the Mazda Masters Series Round 4 Race 4 from the Dara Short Circuit Reverse second last race of the season and we've got a tight battle on our hands between Elsmo and Catters and we have a very tight turning little section on this track it's a very short one only around the 40 to 42 second mark per lap and with 20 laps and 15 drivers this could be very chaotic so we will check out the qualifying in just a moment and with a bit of a surprise here we actually have a different pole position uh, with Eskimo Sammy Joe beating Elsimo by the narrow margin there to claim his first pole position of the season and we also have a very strong uh, performance from the screwdriver racing team there with third and fourth on the grid twisty corners for APRT Vic in fifth followed by pistol fit for no motorsport and you'll see there SCR Ninja is a guest driver with the asterisk to his name for the last couple of races of the season along with Rob360 uh, um, making his comeback late in the season so just a few guest races before we look to 2013 and we also have the absence of Blogsy360 once again for Start Your Bastard Racing so let's get this started 20 laps this could get very hectic a lot of pit stops to uh, process with all these cars on such a short track bound to see some people getting lapped so we're off, everybody off to a pretty good start there. Into turn one, all looking fairly clean, a few bumps here and there, and then into the tight S's. There's a bit of room there over the ripple strips and that, as the driver's trying to negotiate for a bit of track space. And it's Zulu followed by a uh, third uh, member of the Team Rob360 there. So Zulu actually plays pretty highly for qualifying, probably one of his highest in a, in a, in a while, so he's pretty happy with that. And just hanging out there a little bit through through the uh, final chicane, and it looks to be an accident in the background there, we'll hopefully get a better look at that, but Eskimo is off to a very good start, got a gap on Elsimo already, with Catters right behind the uh, current defending champion for the series, and as we know Catters is actually leading this series by uh, about 10 points this stage and Eskimo with the fastest lap a 43.806 for the standing lap so we'll just get a replay here of the incident at the start so we've got Ollie who's just managed to tap I believe that's Jake Mo 98 might be NZ Warrior if we get another look at that car and he seems to have been collected by one of the APR Queensland boys and just nowhere to actually go there and onto the rim strip. So both cars damaged, so it's a bit unfortunate. Ollie will uh, get pinged for that one. So back on board now. Eskimo is already in the pit lane, so it's an interesting move early on, considering the size of the field. He might get caught up with some of the slower drivers. Twisty also making a push there with the next fastest lap, 41 triple two. And Eskimo just uh, just about to get pushed out in front of, I believe it's Queensland. Queensland Rum Runner that's uh, got the damaged car. Interesting why he didn't pit to uh, get repairs already. So he's managed to avoid getting stuck behind him at the moment. Obviously a slower car with that damage. But Eskimo, he's he's going to be uh, stuck here behind some slower cars, possibly lose time. In the meanwhile, we've got Catters who's managed to get past Eskimo for the lead of the race. And they've already got a bit of a gap there to Twisty, who you can see back in the track. So. Obviously the pace setters here are the top three with uh, Eskimo already pitting Catters there with a 41.054 slowly whittling it down to a um, sub 41 lap time. So we've got another incident here. So this is, uh, we've got Elsimo and Ollie 9394. Oh, oh big collision. The scavenger in with a dive onto the pit lane and I think there's been some confusion between Ollie Ollie, real, oh, he's, he's gone to go in the pit lane and Eskimo had nowhere to go. He's pulled over to the left and that's then uh, Scavengers uh, had a little bit of a brain fade there to try and still fit into the pit lane. And Elsimo all over the back of Catters. Oh, he's giving him a touch here. He's going to collect the wall. Elsimo's got the fastest slap now, so he's in front and I think he's... And that's some very good driving there, Elsimo, realising he's made the mistake and he's let Catters back into the uh, into the lead there. So great driving 
and both in the pit now so Kenner's probably making the most of the track position and meanwhile Twisty Corners will resume the lead of the race and he's currently lapping I think that was Jake Moe and with the leaderboard here we've got Twisty in the front Rob and Zulu going into third obviously a bit of a shuffle here with all this pit lane activity Gohard and Dedex moving into the top five at the moment all gaining a lot of places So sorry, I believe that was NZ Warrior that Twisty was uh, about to lap. So there's been a couple of incidents, incidents with the uh, Interstate Motorsport team and uh, the bunch of guys that have pitted obviously dropping down some places at the moment. And Scavenger dropping down nine, that's pretty significant there. So um, I think he's, uh, other than that incident he's involved with Eskimo Sammy J, might have uh, uh, had some other issues as well and Jake Moe not having the best of races so far as with Queensland Rum Runner so on board with our race leader at the moment we've got lap 7 of 20 we're not quite halfway mark and we're got a bit of a close battle too for uh, third place in the championship so it'll be interesting to see how that goes you're watching uh, was unable to race this round either so um, quite a few regulars missing um, we still ended up with 15 in the field with our two guest drivers FCR Ninja and Rob360 so not much known about uh, Ninja just yet but he's uh, proven to be a pretty fast driver uh, relatively new to it and we're really looking at some uh, high numbers for 2013 with a lot of interest shown towards the end of this current series um, so look out for some uh, changes to the structure of the Forza Championships to accommodate for more than 16 drivers so it should be a cracker of a, a year next year for RGL Forza Motorsport and now on board Elsimo and Cat is currently fighting out for uh, positions 1 and 2 I think after that incident with Eskimo he's going to struggle to uh, stay in front of these guys and Elsimo really pushing uh, Katas here in the last race uh, at the Iberian Raceway we had a big lead for Katas and Elsimo managed to just about beat him on the very last lap crossing the line almost side by side so uh, they've pretty much picked up where they left off here and Elsimo looks to be the faster driver at the moment or Katas is just making a few mistakes due to error look at this bumper to bumper action He's really trying to push to uh, get Caddis to make a mistake here, but he's staying pretty rock solid at the moment. It's not an easy track to make passes on. You've really got to look for that mistake. Oh, Elsimo going for a dive on the inside. I don't think he's going to make it stick. No, he's pulled out. I think if he had have kept on trying to push, he probably would have gone wide and collected Caddis into the wall. So, yet again, just showing some quality driving. Oh, Elsimo stepping it out a bit there. Some quality driving amongst our... Uh, our game is here so Elsimo obviously needs to get a win under his belt to uh, have a shot at winning this championship series uh, in the final round and just on board now with Eskimo Sammy Joe who's doing a pretty good job of uh, catching up his his race mainly at the moment is with Twisty um, as you can see as uh, the uh, back section of the track is probably the distance to Elsimo and Catters, so Eskimo slowly catching the two as they fight. They're obviously going to lose time fighting each other. And let's just see how this goes. So Twisty's out in front of Eskimo. And it looks like one of the a APRT Queenslanders is in between, but Eskimo's got a bit of a run on him here. He'll look for this pass with a bit of momentum. Oh, a little bit of contact. He's pulled out a little bit, but then he uh, managed to get that pass through and now his next target is Twisty so Twisty's managed to move up to third position and we just got to wait and see whether or not Eskimo can manage to catch him I'm sure after that incident at the uh, pit lane entrance he'll be uh, very focused on trying to achieve a good result after starting on pole position 
Okay, we've got a car just in the fence there. I can't really see who that is at the moment. I um, believe it's just parked while the traffic's going through. Possibly a bit of a spin out, so hopefully we'll get a replay there. So just on board with Jake Mo. So his wo woes are continuing and just losing a bit of control and just gets out of the road in time for the uh, front runners as they come through. That could have been disastrous. So very quick thinking by Jake Mo to get across and out of the road. Um, and he would have lost a lot of time there having to wait for all the drivers to come through. Oh, Katas and Elsimo side by side down into the dipper. And this is, I've uh, got one of the interstate boys just pulling right over for these guys. So it's good, good. Uh, oh, Elsimo with a bold move on the inside. Really pushing hard. He's got Katas this time. No, he still hasn't. He hasn't quite got the traction in there. He's still pushing. And Katas. He's looking for the crisscross here. Is he going to make it stick? He doesn't. So that is fantastic stuff. Side by side through some of the hairiest parts of this circuit and not managing to come out with an incident there. And even Scavenger looking to be lapped here. So he's obviously uh, been involved in some sort of uh, incident to uh, fall this far behind. Normally one of the uh, top uh, five drivers some t yeah, generally around that area. And now they're going to have to move out of the road for these guys as they come flying through. And Scavenger's pulled right over, so that's excellent stuff. So he's had to break off his battle with one of the interstate boys, which I believe is NZ Warrior. And he's also pulling over, so this is good stuff. So the back markers are doing their job, giving some clear track for these guys to race. And Scavenger's right on the back of NZ Warrior once again and looking for a pass here. And this is, oh, this is a passing move by Eskimo Twist. He's just cooked it into that corner. And he's lost all momentum there. And Eskimo's got the inside line going through the uh, final chicane. So Eskimo's moved into third place due to a uh, mistake by Twisty. So back in front with the leaders here on lap 15 of 20, just five to go. And Kat is trying to return the favour here, applying the pressure to Alcimo. See whether or not he can make a uh, mistake and notch up another win to cement his position at the top of the championship table. Here we look at the 9394 Studios leaderboard and we have Alcimo. Uh, up in front we get with Catters as we know, Eskimo dropping two places at the moment to third and Ninja making a little bit of a gain as well. And Zilla up a spot and a few others so Pistol Fit where he started on the grid. And Scavenger down six, so obviously Scavenger's been involved in a couple of moments here, I think, uh, with Eskimo Sammy Joe. And, uh, we haven't had a replay, but I believe there was a little bit of a spin out which has collected one of the interstate boys. Oh, Alcimo stepping out a little bit. It's not the time to be making mistakes with just a few laps to go. And now Catter's right on the back of him here, looking, looking for a move. He's headed to the last two right handers to complete the end of that lap. Three laps to go. And just continuing to come across back markers, but they haven't seemed to be an issue. They've done a really good job of uh, keeping out of the road of these uh, front two runners. And one would only wonder what happened with uh, an Eskimo not had those that incident. And here we go. This is Scavenger. So similar, the same spot as Jake Moe. And always oh, made contact with one of the interstate boys. So this is what I was getting reports of. And that is Jake Mo again, so this has been a race to forget. On board with Zulu just missing Scavenger's car there, so a race for Jake Mo to forget. And uh, all in all, a uh, bad outing for Interstate Motorsport, but they'll bounce back for the uh, final round, I'm sure. And here we go, just two laps to go now, onto lap 19. And on board now with 
Catters following El Samo, Dedex, and also one of the APR Queensland, APRT Queensland boys just pulling right out of the road. This is really good allowing these guys to just continue their race as though there's no other cars on the track, which is excellent. And I think they're just coming up onto the back of one of the movie Madness drivers in a moment. Final lap of the race. Can Catters actually manage a win? He's looking under brakes to try and gain some position. Oh! And we've got some contact. Obviously a little bit of an issue there with that one. After all this talk of backmarkers and that one almost cost Elson my big time here. Catters trying to squeeze in. He was, he was pretty smart to pull out there because of, uh, of the uh, move because there was a wall to the left and a car to the right and they could have both ended up turning around and oh contact cat is just going for one last lunge he's going to let El Simo know about it and looking for one more dive but I think he's lost a bit of traction side by side and El has got a bit better drive out of the turn and has won the race so he's got a win and a very important win as they move into the final round and we'll check out the uh, cat is with a bit of damage towards the end of the race there after all those uh, shots he, he really pushed to see whether he could get a win out of that but yes yeah, very important for the uh, championship race for Elsimo to get a win there with uh, Eskimo also taking the bonus five points for the pole position and uh, looking at the end results very very close between the top two guys and Eskimo finishing about seven seconds behind them which is pretty good effort considering the time he lost with that incident and uh, looking down the field, Jake Moe and Queensland Run Runner having a really bad race uh, with the DNF, both of those guys not managing to finish off the race. And Rob360 managing to uh, pip Zulu to the finish line for seventh with uh, just a few turns to go. Um, remembering that the points earned by FCR Ninja Rob 360 don't count, all the, they get removed from the overall tally boards and the drivers get shifted up into the next position. So looking at the championship standings, 10 points separates first and second with one round to go. Eskimo, Sammy Joe and Twisty Corners in with a tight battle for third and then it falls back to your watch and scavenger. Uh, there and then all the way down to the bottom there with the guys that were coming in halfway through the season a fair few points behind but that's the standings we have one round to go to finish off the year look forward to your company then i hope you enjoyed the coverage if you're interested in joining the rgl forza championships check out our website uh, that's got plenty of information there for you to uh, get your head around thank you for watching and we'll see you at the next round